Hello everyone, welcome back um, to another week of Floss Tube. So this week it seemed to be all about brown. Um, I was doing the Heaven and Earth Designs Sal, the stitch along, and I'm doing Astrology Cat, and I am in a lot of brown there, and then Lord of the Rings there was another brick wall like I mentioned in the last Floss too, which I had a feeling that it would be just brown. That is literally all I've done on Lord of the Rings. So, in no particular order I'm going to show you these kits, but I think uh, for this week I am going to move on to a different page on Lord of the Rings, which I'll show you. So, first up I have Zen, and I did actually do all of the ones that I said, because last week we did a spin the wheel right at the end of the video, and I um, actually did do all of the ones that I said I was going to do. I didn't do anything else other than Venom, which I said I was going to try and get a day on. But this one is Zen, and here is what it looked like the last time you saw it, but it has had a lot of stitches on it since then because I have been using it for the Stitch With Me's. So here's what Zen looks like. <clears throat> um, it's going to be a bit tricky to show you what's actually been done on the front. So if I go round to the back, Basically, on the first Stitch With Me's I did a lot of the background and then on the last Stitch With Me, I believe, I came and did the outline of her hair and then I started filling it in. Um, it is a bit tricky to show you, see if that helps stop it going through the fabric. Um, but yeah, I haven't shown this one for quite a while. But here is the corner that I was working on. So all this green here I'm not doing. That is just going to be white. Um, so I'm going to leave it and then obviously when you wash a stamped kit all of the, the green and everything else will come off. Now Oraloa is a licensed company that does stamped kits. I have mentioned this before. Um, as far as I'm aware Oraloa is the only um, cross stitch company. Well they do diamond paintings as well. It's predominantly diamond paintings on their website but they are the only company that I know of that does licensed stamped kits because a lot of the stamp kits that you see aren't licensed um, and that's why they're quite cheap. This one was about, oh, I got this bought for me from a lovely lady called Tracy that watches me and I think she paid £13 on sale. Um, I was supposed to give her the money back when it came to the UK because she did an order for a couple of people and we agreed that I'd pay her and pay the postage and everything and then when it came to it she said don't worry about it so it was a lovely gift um, but yeah this one is a licensed um, stamped kit which is amazing I do have another one if you've been here before it's called Dawn to Dusk um, but I haven't worked on that one for quite a while just thought I'd show you the actual kit here that's the, the name of the company Oraloa and I believe they are in France, but they also have another warehouse in the US somewhere for other for US uh, purchases, I think. But mine would obviously come from France because I'm in the UK. Speaking of Stitch With Me's, I have almost got all of the threads for Tomb Raider. If you don't know what chart that is I'm talking about, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, so I have been slowly collecting the flosses for a Tomb Raider chart that I asked a lovely artist if I could do for personal use and they said yes. So um, that will be replacing Zen in the Stitch With Me's at some point. I'd imagine, I was aiming for February and I think I'm probably going to be at the start of February when that comes. I have about 20 flosses coming and then I think there was four that I couldn't get. I think there was, because I buy CXC thread and I usually typically buy from the same lady every time um, off of eBay. And by the looks of it, I think there was four that she didn't have. So I might have to go and buy them in DMC. But I do prefer working with CXC thread just because it's quite plump and I always stitch in half stitch if I can. Right, so next we have Poinsettia Pixie. And I did one day's worth of stitching on this one, so here's what I looked like the last time. And here is what Poinsettia Pixie looks like now. So I did 519 stitches in one day on this this week, and that now brings me to a percentage of 3.18%. 
So I am at the top of the chart, just to show you in case you've never been here before. I am at the top of the chart. I've gone over her hairline here and this is the poinsettia flowers in her hair. Um, and I am doing all of the black first, um, 25 count, two strands, 10 stitch, half stitch, whatever you want to call it. So this one is quite easy at the moment because I'm just doing the black. And I always really enjoy stitching on this one. So it does, I do tend to typically get a fair few stitches in this because it is just black. With Poinsettia Pixie, I'm hoping by the end of this year I can get all the black done and then next year I can order all of the floss because I haven't actually ordered any other colour for it other than black. I have a cone, I don't know if you can see it, it's like up here on the shelf. <laughs> I have a cone of um, 310 that I'm using on a lot of different projects at the minute. Um, so I didn't bother buying the floss for that because I knew I was going to be doing just the black for quite a while. Um, and I am, speaking of 2025 purchases, I am officially doing the free chart that came from the Heaven and Earth Design sale. So I can't remember what it's called, it's a lady stitching. I will place a, an image up. But there is another stitcher that, this was her idea, it wasn't mine. She wanted to start it in 2025 and I said that I would definitely do it with her. So since then we have had a little bit of a chat. I've joined her Discord. I will mention her channel below. If, if that chart, if you're doing the Heaven and Earth Design sale and that chart is something that you would want to stitch in the future, then please do come along and join us. Um, she has her own Discord and I think she's put a thread for that chart in there already because we noticed that there was a couple of people that are going to start it. Um, I think there's a lovely lady that me that I mentioned quite a lot here called Sarah. She I'll mention her channel below. She's actually starting it before next year. I think she's got all of her floss and everything already. So if you're interested in seeing the progress on that one, because I'm not starting it till next year, but I would love to see somebody start it now. So I will definitely be keeping an eye out on her YouTube. So I'll mention them two ladies below. And if you would like to start it, unfortunately, if you haven't done the Heaven and Earth Design sale, you won't be able to get the chart because it was a freebie given to the people that joined in on the sale, unfortunately, which is kind of sad because it is a lovely picture. And I said in the last one that I wanted a picture of somebody actually stitching because I always see lovely images of people knitting um, and I don't knit. So, yes. Um, Speaking of sales, where is my sale? Aha! So this one is the Heaven and Earth Design sale, and I am Team Cat. And this week, I haven't added up my total. <laughs> so I did show it last week, didn't I? So here's what it looked like last week. And here's what it looks like now. It looks pretty much very similar. Um, and I am in, still in a lot of brown. Um, I don't tend to travel far from where I start like my stitches. I don't do like extreme cross country and go all over the place so I will be still working in this um, until I come down and out that way. So I did 1173 stitches this week um, and I'm doing this one on 28 count, two strands, half stitch as always if I can. <laughs> um, and this is what I mean by it's been a week of brown. So after this one, I'll show you the Lord of the Rings. And if I'm honest, I am pretty sick of brown this week. So that is why I'm going to be changing Lord of the Rings instead of this one, because I know I can follow a different page on Lord of the Rings. Um, whereas with this one, I can't because I've just started it and I don't like to stray too far from my stitches that I've already put in, if that makes sense. So... Yeah, this is the one I do when I homeschool um, and what I tend to do is do a couple of stitches and then help my son or, or type for him and, and things like that. So it's a lot of stopping and starting but I do get to work on this five times a week. So that's why I managed to get the 1173. If I didn't do it that way I would probably be a lot more further behind on this one just because I like to do a lot of different things in the week. So that, that way of doing it with the homeschooling is really working for me and I definitely think I will stick with 
doing this one during homeschooling going forward. The next one is Lord of the Rings. Um, and I didn't do that much stitching on it this week. It's probably the least amount of stitches I've ever done in a week for this picture. So here's what it looks like. Here's what it looked like last week. And here is what it looks like now. So I literally just done the top border of this page where this where this brick is. I'm hoping you can see that because the sun is now coming through the window. And because I'm doing a lot of brown on the cell, what I'm going to do is come down to this page here and start on this page and get myself into some more blues. I don't think I want to do two lots of brown each week. So what I will do is I will work down here on Lord of the Rings next week until I get out of that brown on the cell, just because um, this is what I stitch at night. So I do 200 stitches, if you've never been here before, 200 stitches every single night on this one. So it, it the progress slowly ticks over. And um, because I'm doing the cell in the daytime, I'm finding that I'm stitching brown in the day and then I'm going to bed and I'm stitching more brown and I was just, when it comes to this this week, I was just like, I really don't want to stitch it. So I kept leaving it, doing less than the 200 a night and going on to other projects for the night. So I will come down to here and get myself into some blues and then hopefully I can get motivated to do the 200 stitches a night. So I did 960 stitches and that gives me a total of 3.92%. And it looks like on most days I was doing 160. That yesterday, yesterday I didn't do any actually. Um, I ended up just messing about on my YouTube and um, sorting out some subtitles and things like that for older videos. So I didn't actually stitch anything last night for the first time in quite a while. Okay, so the next one is Prefix Bathroom. Um, I did one night again on this one, and here is what it looks like the last time you saw it. And here is what it looks like now. Really, really enjoy this one still. Haven't got bored of it at all. I absolutely love the greens in this one. Um, I forgot to write my stitch in progress down before the tablet reset for the day, but I know that I did 500, over 500 stitches on this because I did a lot of black, and then I went in and filled in a lot of the rogue green stitches here and then started coming down here. So I know it was over 500, I just can't remember the exact amount. And that gave me a total of 3.10% on this chart. Um, I do really enjoy picking this one up because I like doing the black and the green at the same time. So I'll do a big chunk of black or like an outline. This is a going to be an outline for black and then in here is going to be some green so I enjoy doing the outline and then going back and filling in all the green. Oh I didn't say what this was stitched on did I? This is 25 count again, two strands half stitch. So now we move on to Pokemon which is my focus for um, what month are we in? <laughs> January. My focus for January so that means that every week in January, I stitch on this for three nights every week. So here is what it looked like last time. And here is what it looks like now. And we have a new Pokemon. This little guy here, this pink one, he is called Ditto and he is absolutely amazing. He can transform into any other Pokemon. So he can transform into them and copy their moves and everything and he's just like a little little jelly baby, he is so cute. Um, so I almost finished all of him and I did 606 stitches this week. Now I am always slower on this one because it is 18 count, two strands full cross, so it takes me a lot longer, but I wanted it to, to be that way because I wanted the effect of it. Um, because this is a very cartoony cross stitch, I wanted the stitches to look quite thick so I did 18 count and then full cross um, and I think I have made a good decision with that because I really like the way that this whole chart is looking so far. Let me see if I can, so I'm here at the minute, I haven't really got that far 
but it does take a long time. I actually started, I don't think I've ever spoken about this before, I actually started this chart in the middle right here. Um, it was the first middle start I ever did. I panicked and then kind of went whoop <laughs> up to the top because I don't start in the middle. I'm not a middle starter. I don't understand how people can do it. It confuses me so much because I don't know what way I want to go. Do I go up, left, right, down? Like I don't. So I always start in the top left now. Um, middle starts are not for me. So yeah, I am really happy with that. And what is the percentage? It is now at 9.6%. So I have a little bit longer to go on this through January and I think we can get some good progress on this one. So I have one more project to show you which is Venom and then I have a new um, chart to show you which I'm really excited about. So the last one that I worked on this week is Venom. Now Venom didn't get much done, I just wanted to touch it. If, if you've watched my other ones I said I would like to finish this chart by the end of the year. I don't know if that's going to happen, like already I'm, I'm second guessing myself after saying that, uh, was it last week or the week before, um, I am second guessing myself but I will try and work on this every week just because it's a, I want to give it to my daughter um, for Christmas this year but I honestly don't think I'm going to get it done so here's what it looked like last week and here's what it looks like now, um, so yeah I didn't get much done at all. Um, 285 stitches is what I did this week, mostly black, <laughs> and that gives me a percentage of 18.35%, so I don't know if I'm going to finish it by the end of the year, as I've said, but I will try my best to get this one done. I also don't want to get burnt out on it though, so um, this is actually the focus for February though, so that should give me a lot of um, progress on this. So that was all my stitching that i done this week, but I do have a special little bit of haul to show you. So if you've been here for a while, I ordered Karamia, 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 it's, to me in my head it's Karamia, but I ordered a kit from Gecko Rouge. So I'll place the picture here. Now I ordered this a good few weeks ago before they stopped selling Medusa Doll Maker kits and when I found out that they were no longer going to be selling her artwork I ran to the store and bought this one basically because it was the one that I think I'd have been the most upset with if I would have not bought it. I wish I could have bought more but they are very very expensive and um, Speaking of expenses, I am actually on a no-buy this year for most of the year. So I have pretty much banned myself from buying anything else diamond painting related or cross stitch related until my birthday when we do a new start on my birthday which is in May and then again at Christmas because finances are getting a little bit tight and I impulse bought an awful lot in 2023. Um, my diamond paintings were crazy, I spent way too much money and then I actually sat here and thought do I even know what I've got in my stash? And when I get to the point where I don't know what I've got in my stash, I will be completely honest with you, I have no idea what diamond paintings I have, but the cupboard that I store them in is full. And these diamond paintings can be £70 each, £80 each, you know, like, I don't need to hoard diamond paintings. So, I'm not going to be buying any more diamond paintings this year at all. I'm going to just be working on the ones that I have. But cross stitch will be more difficult for me to rein in my purchases because I buy a lot of patterns that I never really intend to start. And um, Charissa Bug, one of the diamond painting people that I absolutely am in love with her art, um, she's one of my favourite artists, she has now signed with Thread Geeks for kits. Um, I'll see if I can put a little picture of one of hers from Thread Geeks, and when I saw that I was so tempted to go and buy a kit but I stopped myself because I knew that I'd already said that I weren't going to buy anything else um, and I have got a lot of starts already like I'll talk about it in a sec but I do have a lot of starts that I haven't even started yet <laughs> that I can do this year so yeah I'm on a no buy basically <laughs> so I bought the Gecko Rouge and it is finally here. Um, I think I bought this back in November sometime um, but they did say it could take eight weeks to get here so I wasn't worried. 
And here is what the kit is going to be. I cannot wait to start this one. And I'm going to start it this week because I got it last week. And I've been waiting to show you guys first before I bought it. But look, I've already opened it, but look how these come. I don't know if it's going to focus, but they come like wrapped in red tissue paper. And there's this tiny little gecko on the sticker. I, I want to take him off and put him on something, but I don't know what to put him on. Um, so yeah, you get your fabric and I pick. Uh, 25 count yeah it was 25 count so I picked 25 count and all the floss comes like this they need cutting as far as I'm aware they are folded in half so they do need cutting before I start um, and I didn't ask for a paper pattern because I work on pattern keeper so I will be starting that this week so I'm going to be starting this one this week alongside, um, it's going to be like a week of new starts for me. So I'm going to do the Deep Queen, Dark Queen, sorry, of the Seas. I'll place a picture here. I did get my printer um, working and I printed out a better pattern, but the cover photo has got some nasty lines in it from the printer. I'm not really, really sure why. So I'll just, I'll place a picture here. That one's going to be done on paper pattern, so it's going to take me a very, very long time. It's a big challenge for me. I have mentioned it before. Um, there's a lot of backstitch. It's not full coverage. It's not. It's completely out of my comfort zone. So that one's going to be started this week, and I can't wait. I've got all the beads and everything for it. Um, I won't be using the beads straight away, but I am nervous and excited at the same time. Oh, I can show you the fabric for it, though. Ah! So my fabric arrived for it, obviously. <laughs> Look at that! Let me get my face out of the way. Look at that fabric. Now I've never used dyed fabric before, so this is going to be really different for me. Um, and it's going to be really hard <laughs> to stitch on because there's no grids, there's um, it's a dark fabric, so it's going to be hard to see. And it is 18 count. I thought it was. Um, last time I weren't sure if I bought 16 or 18 count, but it is 18 count. Now my only question is, where do I start? Where do, do I want... Um, it's going to be really hard to show you. Do I want the pinkness in her, or do I want it to go this way around? I don't... I honestly don't know. And what way around do I want the fabric? Because there's different effects in it. Um, one side is the bottom here is a little bit lighter I think than this side yeah it is the, up here is darker and then down here is a little bit lighter so do I want the darker bits at the top do I want it at the bottom I don't know I'll probably just start randomly um, but yeah so excited for that and that is going to be this week I'm going to do that this week I did print off as I said the the chart but it's got like lines going all the way through it so um what else can i show you oh the beads so these bags of mine actually came in handy for once i actually ordered these smaller bags similar to the ones that i always store my cross stitch patterns in but i ordered the wrong size and they've actually come in handy for all of this stuff so the petite treasure braids that i said to you before that i'd never ever used that's all here look at that Look at that. So this is gonna, <laughs> I'd imagine it's gonna be like stitching with wire. Um, like the light effects thread that I used for the body positive that my daughter drew. Um, this is for the back stitch. So all of these are for the back stitch as far as I'm aware. Uh, we got some beads, some lovely little beads there. And I did show you the, the big bead last time, but and then, if I can show that, some other beads. I am so excited to start this, but I'm also very nervous that I get it wrong. Um, because this is another chart that I don't want to get wrong. 
because it's not full coverage and I always fudge my mistakes on full coverage but I don't think I can do it on this so it's going to be one that's going to take a lot of concentration it's going to be very slow stitching I know that um, and I'm okay with that so as, as long as I'm okay with the fact that it's not going to be a quick project we'll be all good I might even stitch on this one tonight or Karamia. I, I, I don't know I love both of them so much that I don't know which one to do I'm probably not going to want to stitch on Lord of the Rings tonight either. I'm probably just going to want to get straight into the new ones. And the other thing that I will be stitching this week that has been started on but only a tiny little piece is Long Dog Sampler Ragnarok. So I think it was last week I showed you my tiny little start and then I panicked because I stitched on gridded fabric and the dyes are hand dyed variegated floss. So I panicked a little bit thinking that the colours were going to run when I washed this fabric. I used gridded fabric because it was a spare piece that I had over from the, the sow. Um, a lovely lady commented and said something about boiling your fabric. So I said that I tipped boiling water on it to see if the fabric, the, the floss would run with the colour. Thankfully it didn't. And there was a lovely lady that said, you know, if you put the 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 fabric in hot water and you leave it on the boil the the lines will come out faster than you having to constantly top up with hot water which is what I usually do so I did I didn't try that but I will try it before I start this week I have gone back and washed that fabric again and most of the lines are out but if you look at it in a certain light you can see like a really faded faded line so it does need doing again before I start it so that will probably start at the end of the week and I'm really excited to get that one done as well. We'll get some more project, get some more progress on it first. Um, that is going to look really nice when that is, when there's a bit more on it. Realistically, I should have done it on a larger count so you could see it a bit more because it is going to be a very small long dog sampler. But I just wanted something that was small, if that makes sense. I didn't want a giant long dog sampler because of where am I going to put it they're not really my type of thing I'm stitching it more for a challenge so whether I give it away when I'm finished with it I don't know we'll we'll see um, and the other two things that I will be doing this week is Pokemon obviously because I need to get my three days on Pokemon but I'm going to do that at the end of the week because I'm way too excited to start these other other projects um, and also Lord of the Rings obviously I will move down to the blue and at some point I will try and get a bit in Venom done but if I get too carried away with these new ones I probably won't stitch on Venom this week I'm not going to hold myself to it so <laughs> we will see but next week will be a week of new starts so I hope you have enjoyed this one and I will see you next week have a good week everybody and bye bye